congratulations on your new puppy. So I'm Dr. Kupke, this is Lewis, one of our nurses, and this is Lewis's new puppy. And Lewis has brought his puppy to me for a, a very important first physical exam of your new puppy. Um, this is necessary, especially if you purchase a new puppy uh, from a puppy store or from a breeder. Um, you do have, by Florida law, 14 days to seek redress in the event of any problems with your new puppy. It's a little bit difficult, of course, because that Florida law really applies to things, and of course, this is a little living soul. So, um, bear in mind that whilst you may have rights regarding your new puppy, you may not necessarily want to take advantage of those rights. Most, most of us are t t thoroughly attached to our new arrival, and we don't want to return them if there's a problem, but the Florida law still actually gives you um, options to, to seek redress if there's a problem. So, the point is, you bring a new puppy to your veterinarian, in order for a thorough physical exam, in order to make sure your puppy's healthy. Um, so, while I've been talking, of course, I'm also allowing the puppy to get used to my voice and body movements so that she's not nervous. That's very important because the first thing I'm assessing is just overall character. Is she bright and spunky and alert and interactive, or is she rather passive? Passiveness or uh, an undue amount of quietness on the part of your puppy is often a sign of illness. Not always, but it's something to make you suspicious and look further. Um, the next thing we always do is a temperature. I won't do this online, but as you know, the temperature is taken from the back end. Uh, not particularly fun for the puppy, but a very important test for temperature. Normal temperature for a puppy ideally is between 100 and 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, next, we basically start from the front, and Lewis is going to present his new puppy to me um, as I go through my physical exam. I use a pair of visors so I can have a very close look at what's going on. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, 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 yes. So she has something to say about this, you see. Um, so first of all, I use an ophthalmoscope. This is the little eye instrument to look inside her eye. And what I'm looking for is any signs of discharge in the eye. I'm also looking for any signs of uh, detached retina. Uh, that's um, the back part of the eye can sometimes have problems. There's often problems with the retina that show signs of distemper, uh, which is a contagious disease that puppies are often exposed to in their early age. Her eyes are wonderful, so no further work there. Uh, the next thing is we use the otoscope to look into her ears. This is particularly not fun for puppies, they don't like it, but of course she's an angel, she's being very, very good. What am I looking for here? Basically ear mites, not particularly common in puppies anymore, but also any signs of infection and also signs of a normal, happy, healthy ear. So you see that didn't take any length of time at all. Finally, I'm looking in her mouth. And what I'm looking for here is whether her hard palate on the top of her mouth, the roof of her mouth is sealed completely. There is a uh, developmental abnormality called cleft palate that you will see in puppies and that's something that I need to check for. She has no cleft palate. She looks great. Finally, we're looking at whether her teeth, her baby teeth, her very sharp baby teeth are all there and whether her little jaw closes properly. And of course, she passed that with flying colors. So at this point, we take a little break and make, make Friends again. Okay, sweetie. It's very important, very important part of your physical exam is to make friends with your future patients. While I'm here, see, she's, she's loosening up now. She was growling, now she's licking, you see? That's excellent. Um, part of what I'm doing too is I'm looking at the way she stands, I'm counting her toes. Uh, realize that most dogs have four fingers and a thumb, uh, but many times that thumb is either missing. Um, by virtue of the way they've been bred, or sometimes it's been removed by the breeder at birth. So don't worry if your puppy has no stunts, it's not a problem. So, now that we've finished the front half of our physical exam, we're going to do the back half of our physical exam. So at this point I asked Lewis to gently turn her puppy. Uh, realize that of course this is Lewis's puppy, but normally you'd be sitting where the camera is, and at this point of course we turn her towards you, and Puppies are usually a lot happier looking at their new owners than they are looking at me. Now, stethoscope. This is to listen to her heart. This is where I'm going to go quiet for a minute while I listen to her chest. Of 
course I take a lot longer to do that, but since I'm talking to you online, what I'm listening to is her heart rate and rhythm. I'm also listening to her chest. I'm trying to pick up if there's any abnormal sounds that could be a sign of either a heart, a developmental abnormality, a congenital defect, or perhaps a upper respiratory infection or worse still possibly pneumonia. So all these things are things that I need this instrument for and a careful ear. And of course her lungs are clean and clear which is fantastic and her heart is sounding normal with a good solid pulse, rate and rhythm. Finally, when you see us messing around like this, what I'm actually doing is something called palpation. And palpation is where I'm actually very gently flexing and extending each of the joints in turn feeling for any joint swelling, when I run my hand over her abdomen, I'm feeling for any hernia, feeling for any lumps or bumps, anything at all that would give me cause for concern. And of course, a quick looky-loo at the bottom of her feet to see if there's any problems there at all. Finally, quick run over the lymph nodes. There's lymph nodes under her little chin here, a little indentation just under her neck, into her shoulders, under her armpits, just under her legs. And finally, very importantly, I usually ask my nurse to lift up so I can look at her tummy and make sure that her little, be little belly button is actually completely sealed. That's called an umbilical hernia. If the belly button is not completely closed, then there's a little bit of a bulge under the skin, and that's something that requires attention. This is a young lady, so uh, of course she has a number of breasts here. You don't have to worry about breast cancer in a dog this young, but of course you still run your hands up and down there real quick to make sure there's nothing wrong. At this point, we're pretty well done with our formal physical exam. A couple of extra things though. <clears throat> Before we even started our physical exam, one of my nurses would have greeted you and also obtained a very important stool sample. That's to assess her for any internal parasites. Um, we will also go over uh, what's involved in owning a new puppy. Each one of you at Sable Chase Animal Clinic gets a free puppy kit. That amounts to free toy free little box of coupons, including heartworm preventative coupons, discount coupons, and one free heartworm preventative tablet. As you can see, she already loves her toy. Uh, we take uh, some time to go over things like puppy vaccinations. I should add that it's very, very important to vaccinate your puppy correctly. Correctly means that she has at least four sets of puppy shots three weeks apart, so that's uh, one at say six weeks, nine weeks, 12 weeks, 15 weeks before you expose her to the world. That means don't take her to puppy stores, pet stores, uh, dog parks, anything that involves exposure to dogs you do not know. And she said she's had all four sets of her puppy vaccines. And of course, a quick note about spaying and neutering. Current veterinary studies have proven that spaying before the first heat is the most likely to decrease the risk of breast cancer by over 90% and also give her the best opportunity for a happy life. So uh, you definitely want to look at getting your puppy spayed or neutered before they're about five or six months of age. Um, we also touched briefly on microchips. Now of course in Florida it is law that whoever you bought your puppy from should have microchipped you, your, your puppy for you. But of course if you adopted your puppy from a rescue or, or some other uh, worthy cause, they may not have microchipped your puppy. A microchip is a very easy way of making sure that if, God forbid, your little girl or boy runs away, um, anybody who catches her, uh, takes her to a vet or an animal shelter, they'll scan her for microchip and using that microchip, you'll get her back, which is always good news. So at this point, we basically ask if you have any questions, spend some time with you to find out if you have any, uh, anything you want to discuss about your new puppy. And um, basically, that's, that's it for the physical talk. Um, simply call us up at, uh, at our number that's underneath this video, 305-595-1450. Uh, We'd be happy to set up an appointment for you to uh, welcome your puppy to the world. Congratulations, and thank you for watching.